This was yours and Rusty's second trip to Manitoba to help with Blood Vein River Outfitters. Yeah, we went up in the fall of the year before and I ended up killing a white-tailed velvet and then I killed a bear and then I headed to Utah and then they stayed there and they killed their bears. So we had a great time. So he decided, hey, why don't we try it in the springtime? We'll just come in and you know, hunt bears. And I said, heck yeah, I'm all about it. I about had a heart attack. My eyes, I swear they had to be that big around that he just died laughing. Driving up to Manitoba is really not a big deal. It's kind of just like driving out west. Yeah, we get up to the border in North Dakota around Grand Fork. We go to the Cabela's, we stay the night, and then we go through the border in the morning. Hey everybody, we just crossed the border here in Manitoba. We took a quick break, now we're heading in to get some supplies, and then we're headed to camp. We're gonna hunt tonight. Hopefully I'll be on a giant black bear. So stay with us, we're headed to Blood Vein River Outfitters. You know, when you fly, you're always worried about losing your luggage or something not getting there, but when you drive up, it's a whole different set of circumstances that can go wrong. Yeah, Rusty, they were pulling a trailer and they had my Traeger grill back there and a bunch of other stuff and I was worried about a blowout. And sure enough, they went through a construction zone and blew a tire. You know, that tire don't look too bad. No, I heard it. I heard it right there as soon as it went down, I down. I wonder if it actually just popped the seal. The last car actually going on there. Take just a second. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Ripped it all that from the left. I'm as angry as my dad. You know, we got to camp. We unpacked the trucks. We shot our bows, which is nice because you got to have everything there. Basically, the cabin, we keep all our hunting equipment there, and then we go stay in a hotel just a mile down the road. The stuff I was dealing with in Alberta, <laughs> it was a snow day, it's just in a tent, 20 degrees. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you're cold. Every time we get back to camp, we fire up a little pot belly stove in there, and they like it'd be like super hot. How was it different hunting with blood vein in the spring versus the fall? In the spring, it's just black bears, and he was running a lot of covert trail cameras. He's a distributor up in Canada, and he was running a covert ops camera. And the nice part about that is he wanted me to go after a really big bear, so he put a covert ops in there. So anytime that bear came in there, he would get a text message. All right, this is our first night here with Blood Vein River Outfitters in Manitoba. We literally drove up here, dropped my stuff, shot my bow super fast, got the Reinhardt target set up. I'm pretty much dialed in at 15 yards. Drove about a mile and a half back in here. It's about a 30 minute drive, so hopefully tonight, we have a big old bear come in last night about this time. So hopefully he comes in tonight, I smoke him, and we'll head for Alberta. So stay with us. We're with Blood Vein River Outfitters in Manitoba, Canada. You know, this certain bear that he wanted me to kill I felt like he was on to us, mainly because after the second day we leave and he comes in 30 minutes after we left, I just kept telling him, you know, Clay, he's on to us, we gotta move. So day four we decided to move, went to a new spot. He didn't even have a camera there, he just said, you know, I haven't been running anything there, let's just try it. So we jumped in the stand, we baited it up, and we got ready for that night. All right, this is day five, the weather's a lot better. It's cooler, there's no more rain. So we're in a brand new bait, it's been hit every day.
You know, you shot that bear in true chuck paddock fashion. No track chuck. Yeah. I shot him a little bit high and it went through his, right through his vertebrae and his spine. The crazy part is how the blade actually cut the bone. Not just the tip blasting through the spine, but the fact that those blades are spring steel. They're not carbon steel. And it actually sliced the vertebrae. It was really cool. Yes. Nine days. Nine days. Nine days of nightmareness. And we finally smoked one. I cannot tell you how freaking big of a nightmare that was. Hunting for nine days, we got it done here in Manitoba with Blood Vein River Outbears. We are done. He is a stud. He's a big bear. He's nice, dude. He's nice. I must have hit his shoulder. Dude, you were like, you were just like, we're gonna need a miracle. Then they to come back. That was a miracle, baby. That was a miracle. The crazy part is that bear hunting is supposed to be a piece of cake and I've hunted for nine flipping days. Oh my word. You know, we had hunted for nine days. In Alberta, it was snowing and freezing cold and then we went to Manitoba. So the, that was a great relief, the fact that, you know, I had hunted and killed like five bears in five days previous and then I hunted for nine straight days. So it's not just a gimme when you go bear hunting like a lot of people think. Now obviously we don't have to do much tracking. He's right here. Cause I hit him a little high. I got him on the I got him on the second shot. There's a nocturnal glowing. It went through him, second shot went through him like nothing. That's definitely the one I think that put him down. Man, look at that. That looked like a perfect shot, dude. I mean, how do you not? I must have hit him in the freaking uh, I must have hit him in the shoulder blade. I must have needed to move it back a little. Man, he's got a big noggin, dude. He's a he's a big bear. He is a big bear. Season is closed in Manitoba with Blood Vein River Outfitters. That's bad on it. You know, most people won't kill five bears in five days, but uh, you like to shoot. Yeah, that's one thing that Clay was, he knows that I, I'm gonna shoot about anything that comes in. I like hunting. And he really wanted me to kill this certain bear. And when it wasn't coming in, I was like, look, dude, we gotta change something up. I gotta shoot something here. So that's when he went, you know. I think this year, one of the guys is gonna get an opportunity at that big bear because nobody got him last year.